it this is um oh i guess it, it um relates to the reading that we did yesterday in the non-recorded portion of the meeting uh, um where we read through the introductory chapter of Feynman lecture on physics and what he said about what um, sets science apart or what's the ultimate judge of truth in science is experiment. So I look for that, I hear this. It is determined by comparison with the experimental results. And it's a, this is a, a mode of thinking that is specific to science. There are um, all these other approaches. Um, you actually see them used in other fields. Um, there are other academic fields where uh, you look for some source of authority. Um, sometimes um, when you are doing literature search or you are uh, doing um, when you're doing research that's based on what's already been written, you kind of go by trustworthiness of the source because it's not really possible for you to do experiments for the specific setup. So there are times when you do that. Um, and uh, you, you know, a lot of what's published in science are peer reviewed. And this is something that uh, sometimes misunderstood by uh, people who do pseudoscience, um, peer reviewed doesn't necessarily mean that it's correct. It means that at least one other person who's supposed to be an expert reviewed it. So if it's just a completely wacky idea, then it wouldn't be published. But just because two people agree doesn't mean necessarily it's correct. And um, so while the uh, publication in peer reviewed journal is an important part of a scientific community, and it's not, it's not what determines what is correct or not. And the same thing here. Uh, sometimes when um, we scientists communicate with each other, sometimes we find the elegant theory to be more compelling, but in the end, it's not the elegance that says whether a theory is correct or not. The ultimate arbiter of truth in science is experiment. That's kind of our foundational and in, in cases when you can't do direct experiment, which uh, astronomy often falls into, observation uh, can take the place of experiment. The difference, the what changes is you have to be more careful about uh, when you don't control every aspect of your observation, you have to take a care to account for that. But in the end, you still um, compare against the real world observation, not what you think how things should be, you look at how things actually are. Um, 